David Fordham, professor of history at Virginia College in Charleston, South Carolina. And most of you know the song that I played just now was Precious Lord Take My Hand, as most people who are familiar with gospel music know. But what a lot of people don't know is the story behind that famous hymn. Our story begins with Thomas A. Dorsey, who was born in Georgia in 1899. And he went on to become a famous blues musician as well as writer. He played with uh, Ma Rainey, the famous blues singer of the 1920s, as well as, as well as Tampa Red. And some of the songs that he wrote during this time period were along the dead drunk blues and it's tight like that. And yeah, they were just about as wild as they sounded for that time. Considerably raunchy for those days. Well, anyway, he began to also dabble in gospel music. Then in 1920, 19, excuse me, 1932, he, his wife Nettie was pregnant with their son. But then, unfortunately, Nettie died in childbirth. And his son died two, about two days later. Thomas Dorsey was so distraught with grief over the loss of both the wife and his child within two days that he sat down and wrote the following lyrics that went as follows. Precious Lord, take my hand. Lead me on, oh let me stand. I am tired, I am weak, I am worn. Through the storm and through the night, lead me on to the light. Precious Lord, take my hand, lead me on. Now, I think that no matter what you go through in life, there comes a time when you could relate to words like that. And so the song instantly became very famous. In uh, February the 19th, 1937, there was, a group for, there was a group called the Heavenly Gospel Singers. Fred Whitmire, Roosevelt, Fen Roosevelt Fenoy, Henderson Massey, and Jimmy Bryant. Four singers from my birthplace of Spartanburg, South Carolina. Yeah, I had to throw that in. They recorded Precious Lord Take My Hand for the Blue Blur Bird label that year, and it became a very popular gospel tune through that recording and many others. The most famous, perhaps, was by the great gospel singer Mahalia Jackson. Well, over the years, the song became a standard. Lyndon Johnson, the, president of the, the 36th President of the United States, had the song played at his funeral, as a matter of fact. Many artists uh, such as Elvis Presley, Aretha Franklin, and others became very famous with it. But that song also holds a place in history that a lot of people are not aware of. You see, on April the 4th, 1968, the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King was on the balcony at the Lorraine Home Hotel in Memphis, Tennessee. And that afternoon, he was about 6 o'clock, he was out on the balcony enjoying the night air when his uh, young associate, the Reverend Jesse Jackson, yes, that Jesse Jackson, pulled up in an automobile with his friend Benjamin Branch. Ben Branch was a saxophone player who played both gospel and jazz music from Chicago, Illinois. So Dr. King looked down from the balcony and said, Jesse, who's that down there with you? And Jesse replied, this is my friend Benjamin Branch. He is the saxophone player that is going to play at our rally tonight. And so Dr. King looked down at Benjamin Branch and said, Ben, I want you to do one favor for me. Tonight, when you play at the rally, I want you to play the song, Precious Lord, Take My Hand. And play it, when you play it tonight, Ben, I want you to play it real pretty. And Benjamin Branch said, Yes, sir, Dr. King, that's exactly what I'll do. Those were Dr. King's last words. He was shot almost immediately after that conversation with Benjamin Branch. Well, as it turns out, Dr. King's wish was honored. The great Mahalia Jackson, in fact, sang that song at the funeral. But Benjamin Branch was so moved by what he saw and what he encountered that two weeks later he went to the studios of Chess Records in Chicago, where, he, where along with the Operation Breadbasket Choir, he recorded this album, known as The Last Request, where it was the most moving and beautiful gospel jazz rendition of Precious Lord perhaps ever recorded, at least in my opinion. So the interesting thing about the story about Precious Lord Take My Hand, when you consider that Thomas Dorsey, who incidentally went on to live a very healthy and productive life, he told his story, including that of his wife and child, in the documentary Say Amen Somebody in 1991, excuse me, 1981, 
and he lived to be in, well into his 90s, dying in the year 1993. So the thing about it when you consider that a great tragedy led to Thomas A. Dorsey recording this song, and a great tragedy led to Benjamin Branch making this wonderful record that I described a little bit earlier, it goes to show you something. In life, you can take horrible tragedies and still go reach deep within inside yourself to turn these tragedies into great triumphs. This is Damon Fordham telling you the story of Precious Lord.